Hey, what's up? Sergey here, and I'm on the beautiful UNLV campus with Anya. And we're going to be talking about Project Starshot today. So check it out. So I actually went to school for paralegal, and I do that in the day, and I own a clothing store, I guess, part time. So you're actually friends with Miriam that we had on the show last week. The last episode? Yeah, yeah. We're, she's really cool. Yeah. Did you guys meet in the fashion world? We did meet in the fashion world because we both own stores. Okay, so it's clothing like stores. you went to like a, a clothing store meet and greet? No, we just had a similar interest and that's how we met. That's why we get along. We have a lot of things to talk about. I see. That's how like, I'm, yeah, customers and returns and stuff. That's how I meet all my friends. We're all physicists. Yeah. Astronomers. Nice. Is, uh, yeah, we just go to the same Christmas parties. <laughs> All right, so I thought it would be cool to talk about this Project Starshot that I actually read a bit about this week because there was some new research that came came about. So have you heard of this project? I have today. You have today? <laughs> yeah. Okay, so in pre-production we were talking about it a bit. Yeah. Uh, so for those viewers on YouTube who don't know, so Project Starshot is this idea to send satellites to the nearest star that isn't the sun, Alpha Centauri, and to make some measurements of uh, either the star or some nearby planets that are in that system. So, do you know who's paying for this? Us? Yeah. Taxpayers? Us. No, it's, it's actually not. It's, it's privately funded. It's some, nice. some like rich people that just have way too much money. And so they're like, <laughs> Oh, interrupted by the bells. That's what happens when you're at school. Um, so whatever, they have all this extra money, so they're like, it would be cool to go visit a, a star that's outside of our system. So and, what, what do they seek to find on the star? Well, okay, so the main interest, um, I think, is to go look at planets that are outside of our system. So it's, it's cool if we stay in the solar system, because we have eight planets to, to look at. Yeah. But if we want to find life, as far as we know, there's only life on, on Earth in the solar system. Mm -hmm. And so if we want to find life and figure out, okay, how common is life? Uh, is it pretty ubiquitous? Or is it really just a fluke that we have life here on Earth? We'd like to go visit other planets and see, you know, could those planets harbor life? And so most, most of these exosolar planets are too far away to actually go visit. Yeah. But if we could go visit one, it would be the nearest system. And so this is the nearest system. So do you know how far away it is? I actually don't, but... Um, okay, so let's put things I'm in perspective. Very far. Okay, so it's, it's about four light years away. So do you know what a light year is? Yes. What's a light year? I know it takes, I, I believe, 20 years to travel a light year. I'm not sure. Okay, so it depends how fast you're traveling. It depends how fast you're so, traveling. So how... So, how fast would you be traveling if it took you 20 years to go four light years? I don't We're know. We're doing math right now. I don't know, but I think that's the fastest speed that I've heard. I read it somewhere, I don't know. Okay, so, so check it out. So um, a light year is how far light travels in one year. So mm -hmm. let's say something's one light year okay. away. Mm -hmm. If you were traveling at the speed of light, you could get there in one year. Okay. If you were traveling at, let's say, one-tenth the speed of light, so uh -huh. 10 times slower, mm -hmm. then it would take you 10 times longer to get there, so it would take you 10 years. Okay, so let's think. So this thing is four light years away, mm -hmm. and so how long is it going to take us to get there, because we, we won't be traveling at the speed of light. Well, no. Uh, so let's say with current technology, it would take us like 50,000 years to get there. That's like current spaceship technology, which is way <laughs> too slow. So the idea of this project is to develop a new kind of technology so that we can get there much faster. In a lifetime. Well, yeah, in a lifetime. So let's say, let's say we were going 20% of the speed of light, okay? Which is mm -hmm. what they want to do for Project Starshot. So if we're going 20% the speed of light, so five times slower, it'll take us five times longer than light to get there. So if light takes four years, it would take 20 years. 20 years. So boom, 20 years. That's reasonable, that's, that's in our lifetime. Yeah, yeah. The okay. people funded it won't be dead, or maybe. So how do they plan on getting there? Is it like a drone, or is it a spaceship? 
So actually they want to send tiny little satellites. So the idea is it's not like a like a big okay. satellite that's yeah. like, I don't know, you know, a couple of meters in size. They want to send these little satellites that weigh about a gram. Okay. Wow. Um, so it's basically just like a chip with a little wire on it so that it can transmit information. Okay. And so the way that they want to accelerate these particles is kind of in a, using a new kind of technology. So they want to use, it's basically a modified solar sail. With a solar sail, you're using light to push the sail. So the idea is you have some material here and you're shining light. And light exerts pressure just like air, just that it's really, really small. Mm -hmm. And so if you have enough photons, so enough light, it's going to push these little satellites and accelerate them. So a typical solar sail, okay, that's been tested already, mm. uses light from the sun, okay? So uh, you can send up a satellite and basically the sun is shining on it and that's gonna exert a pressure and that's gonna accelerate it away. But we won't be able to get to light speed using that technique. We need more intense light. And so the idea is we wanna send these into space and then shine a giant laser on them. And so the laser is like very intense light. It's going to sh shoot more photons at it per second. And so you're going to exert more pressure and so more force. And therefore, it's going to accelerate up to light speed. Of course, this is all speculative. We've never built a laser like this. Uh, we don't know how we're going to build these tiny little satellites. They're not and even so, built yet. No, they're not oh even gosh. built yet. Literally, they, mm. they came up with this idea like a year ago. And so it's very much in the preliminary stages. Yeah. And so the paper I read this week, which I thought was really cool, was about one of the problems that they're gonna experience traveling at light speed. So have you, you've driven down the freeway? Yeah. Okay, so it's not so much a problem here in Nevada, but like out on the East Coast where I'm from, um, there's like a shit ton of bugs. Ew. Right? Yeah, it's not a problem so, here. They all die because it's hot. Right? <laughs> That's why Nevada, the best ever to live here. <laughs> um, so the idea is the faster you're traveling, the more bugs you would hit, right? That makes sense. And the other thing is when you hit a bug and you're traveling at, say, like the speed of a car, the bug's going to die. Versus if you were just like riding your bicycle, it would probably just like hit your face and be okay. Go off, yeah. Maybe not bicycle, maybe like... But <laughs> the point is if you're traveling at the speed of light, there's a bunch of dust out in, yeah, that in makes space. Sense. Yeah. And so Hard if you're traveling at the speed of light, if these little satellites are gonna hit all that dust, it's gonna damage the satellites. And so the worry is, how can the satellites be built so that even if they hit dust, they won't be too damaged to work once they get to the end of the journey. Is that the problem, like the main problem? That's, that's one of the many problems. So that's one of the problems once you're moving at light speed. So then one of the other problems is, okay, like you said, how do we build these things? Mm -hmm. And then the second thing is, how do we accelerate them? To last. Them? Right. How do we, we gotta build them to work and to last. And then we have to figure out how to accelerate them and then how to build this laser. And who knows, there might be other problems that people haven't even Could thought the of laser yet. break it? Because it's too strong? Oh, that's a good question. Actually, that probably is a concern because the laser could probably like heat these guys up. Yeah, and you know. I don't know, I didn't think Diminish of that. Diminish the material. So do they have cameras on them? So remember these things are gonna be gram sized. So it weighs like a gram. Uh, so what, that's like 1 28th of an ounce. Yeah. I know you knew that. Uh, so how much equipment can you actually fit on this thing? It's not, much. not that much. Um, kind of like the advantage of having these little satellites is that you can have a lot of them. So each one is gonna be taking very little data but then when you combine all the data from all the little satellites, then you can maybe get some sort of picture. But it's not like we're gonna have some crazy camera on this thing. Like a HD camera. Yeah, no. yeah it was yeah. not gonna be like an HD camera. Yeah, because I was thinking the dust particles might block the camera and then you'd have to, it had to be like self-cleaning or something if they wanted to do that. Oh, <laughs> yeah, space is a dangerous place. Um, there's, there's, there's dust and radiation and it's really cold. And so it's, it's very challenging to send instruments. And that's why they break all the time. Great. I mean, not great, but yeah. It's sad. It seems like a hard mission. So um, I had a question about what stage they're in with this right now. 
so as far as the satellite. So they basically started working on this thing like a year ago. And so they're really kind of like in the planning stage. They're trying to figure out, okay, how are we going to build these little satellites? So what kind of laser are we going to need? No prototype yet? There's no prototype. Okay. I can't, we can't like show you images of yeah. like, you know, here's what the satellite's going to look like. Yeah, yeah it's, it's kind of like all in someone's head and on a paper somewhere. Um, but hopefully, you know, things come together in Ooh. the next couple of years. So what do you get at Starbucks? I get um, the chai tea latte. With pumpkin spice or no? No pumpkin spice. Not white. Okay, so tell us about your book recommendation. Uh, as a book recommendation, even if it's just a female book, I think everyone should read it because it has really good advice. I love it's Lean called... In, just, just FYI, throwing that out there. <laughs> it's called Girl Boss, and it's by Sofia Moroso. It's actually about um, how she started her company and, you know, a bunch of mistakes she made, like getting bad credit, you know, being a little hippie and moving everywhere, and then finally finding her little niche and making, like, a good empire out of it. Did you read this before or after you started your business? I read this after I started my business. Okay. Do you find like having a business like motivates you to read more like business books? Yes, because there's you can always improve. Like you, you kind of build your business and you're like, okay, now I need to do more. Because you build it and then there's always more you could build on. I wish more science people actually read business books. Because I think business, what business people do really well is they like borrow things from all kinds of areas and apply it to business. And I wish yeah. we did that more in science. Yeah. Like, I talk to science it's people about business books, and they have no idea what the fuck I'm talking about. Yeah, that's different. So check it out. All right, that's all the time we have today. So thanks a lot for coming on the show. Thank you guys for watching. And if you guys like it, don't forget to subscribe. And we'll see you next time.